Today, United States, European Union, and the UK combined are sending $700 million a day to Russia to buy their oil. Every day. Everybody in the world is watching. The sad part, Mr. Speaker, I bet if this bill was on the floor in any country in Europe, it'd be 100% vote for. Look, the State of the Union is in crisis on so many fronts. We've heard about some of these things. Inflation continues to be devastating to families, energy prices. President Biden, by shutting American energy down, has made our country more dependent on Russia. He was actually begging Russia to produce more oil. The sad thing is, Putin did. And today, today, United States, European Union, and the UK combined are sending $700 million a day to Russia to buy their oil. Every day. That's funding his war against Ukraine. If we opened up American energy, we could supply that need that President Biden shut down. But you just think about it. When people are paying at the pump too much right now in America, but all across Europe, not only is it hurting families, it's funding Putin. Over the past decade, we've had every opportunity to lead. During the previous administration, we were energy independent and an ex-exporter of energy for the first time in 50 years. Today, however, we have an administration that crippled domestic production. This administration has increased its daily reliance on Russian oil by 34%. 34%. But in this administration, you had actually done that, increased the production of oil coming from Russia and natural gas to America. Meanwhile, it slow walked oil and natural gas exports to our allies in Europe. In doing so, it made Europe more reliant on Putin. Today, 40% of natural gas and 25% of crude oil in Europe comes from Russia. The Biden administration has made the free world dependent on the deposits of oil and natural gas from Russia. We all know that is shameful. As an economic and energy superpower, why are we relying on dictators when we should be supplying the world? If you're like me and you're concerned about the environment, do you realize that American natural gas is 42% cleaner than Russian natural gas? That crude oil could have come from Canada and been refined in America if President Biden hadn't pulled the plug on Keystone Pipeline. That natural gas that goes to Europe, it could have come from America, from our federal lands and waters where President Biden hasn't approved a single new lease. Not one. He's actually shut them down. And if we had continued the energy policies of the Trump administration, in California, it's more than $5 a gallon, as you know, Mr. Speaker. I don't know if you can remember back when, when it was much less. Now I hear from our colleagues on the other side that the reason American resources must stay in the ground is climate change. If you were concerned about the environment like I am, you should support this bill. You could, Mr. Speaker. It immediately approves the Keystone Pipeline because we've waited long enough and can't afford to wait a minute longer. It removes all restriction on liquid natural gas exports so we can become an arsenal of energy for the free world. And it restarts the leases on federal lands and waters, which are being held up by the Biden administration. You know, it's interesting, Mr. Speaker, you, you have the majority here on the floor. You have the Biden administration that's in your power of your party. But those six, six permits that sit at the desk of the Secretary of Energy, that could take money away from Putin, provide American jobs, and provide Europe with cleaner natural gas from America, still sit there to this day. Because somehow you think it's better for climate change. A vote for this bill is a vote to provide relief for working families at the pump. It means Americans won't have to pay the high prices they are today. I know at the White House when they're asked this question, they said it's okay that the price is high. Because that way somehow it helps them with climate change that they could get more renewable energy. Well, Mr. Speaker, that's a tax on all Americans, especially low income. But I don't know in this administration, they have the highest inflation we had in 40 years. Somehow they must think that's positive too. We have a border that's not secure. The people are coming. 
I know, Mr. Speaker, you, the president of your, of your party has put the vice president in charge, and she's been there one time. One time. Every city in America has become a border city today. Mr. Speaker, it's not difficult. There won't be any pressure. All the members have to do is walk onto the floor, take the card out of their pocket, put it in the little box. Everybody in the world is watching. The sad part, Mr. Speaker, I bet if this bill was on the floor in any country in Europe, it'd be 100% vote for. I'll be watching. I think America will be watching. Will we stand for America and for freedom?